We are working it today with Andy Challenger, Challenger Gray and Christmas here to talk about the labor market. Always happy to have you on the show, Andy. Thanks for having me. A big topic, of course, of this time of the year is the flu. How are we doing this flu season? Yeah, the flu season has been slow to hit. Uh, you know, it's just, it seems like it's later in the uh, cycle this year than it's compared to last year, but it does end up costing employers a lot. Right now we're estimating about a $17 billion cost in lost productivity, but that's down from last year's roughly $21 billion. That is good news that it's off to a slower start. Yeah, so people are washing good. their hands and staying home when they need to. Yeah, and employers are letting their employees know to stay home when they get sick. Another big topic, the Wall Street Journal came out with a disturbing report about Glassdoor reviews, a bit of a scandal. Can you explain that one? Yeah, Glassdoor is this website where uh, employees can review a company's uh, culture, go th what the interview process was like. And there's been uh, and now this report that says a lot of companies are maybe influencing their scores up in a, in a uh, way that's a little bit deceitful, where they're pushing employees to make positive reviews. There's even allegations of maybe companies giving gifts to employees if they give really good positive reviews, and that does skew the data. Because if you have good reviews, everybody wants to work there, so it really boosts your brand. Yeah, and in a tight labor market like we're in, where companies are fighting to retain and attract good people, the Glassdoor score is really important, and, and job seekers are certainly going to look at it. So, of course, the company is going to say that we did not do anything wrong, but what should people do? What is the correct way for people to actually get reviews that go on the glass door? Yeah, I do think there are two sides of the story, right? If you just leave it on its own, it's really only the most disgruntled employees that are going to do reviews, and it could be negatively biased in a way that's not accurate. Uh, but when companies go to their employees and say, yeah, we want you to give honest feedback. We're going to listen to it. Go give uh, your, your real review. And maybe companies are probably targeting employees that uh, have been there for a long time, maybe new hires that are really energized about the company culture. That raises the scores. Do companies pay attention to what employees are saying? Does this matter? Yeah, certainly the smart companies are using this as a feedback tool to learn what, company, what their employees are saying about the company. Uh, if there are complaints or issues, uh, it's a way to uh, track those down, respond to them online, and make ch uh, changes within your company. If somebody's looking for a job, seeking work, should they pay attention to these reviews? Is it worth it to that person? Yeah, I still think Glassdoor is a valuable place to go as a job seeker to learn about the culture of the company. You'll learn things that you'll never learn in the recruiting process. You'll never learn from the, the interviewers, uh, but you can hear from the, the people in the company. Good to have you here. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.